Good afternoon, Star City Savages, uh, Savage Worlds fans in general. How are you doing? I'm Dustin, I guess you could say. I'm the mayor of Star City, or the ringmaster in this mad little circus. May the 4th be with you. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? So, big announcement, big announcement for those of you that are fans of The Drowned War and some of the other projects that we've been working on. Uh, I've been in talks with other aces in the Savage Worlds community, and uh, we're, we're moving forward with a plan to create an anthology based around our RPG settings. So that means that we're going to be having comic books. I know I've been talking about it a little bit, and here we are with this, so I'm happy about that. Um... That's not the only thing. Like, like we got Pete Rutman, he's Agents Across. We've been in talks with the people that are doing Titan Effect and uh, City of Bedlam and some of those folks. I mean, I'll, I'll let I'll let them mention in, in the comments and talk about more uh, what they want. Legion of Liberty, Scott Marchand, check out his uh, Riff's actual play. Shout out there. Um, those are some of the people that we we've been talking to about the anthology. Uh, I'll post some, some promotional pages soon, but one of the big problems we're going to be running into pretty quick is going to be funding that anthology. So we're going to be, we're going to be drafting up scripts and paying some artists to, to work on that project. And um, then we're going to be taking it to Kickstarter. So hopefully you folks really want to see some comics. Um, with Star City, with, with SCS, with us, we... Recently on Monday, we've been doing the whole um, We Play Savage Worlds hashtag, and they were like, well, what's one of the more interesting uh, games that you've been in? And I took it as the opportunity to talk about one of the projects that Star City as a studio is going to be producing, that being The Razor and the Gale, which is a low-level supers fantasy game. And I even posted a little bit of art from the project I've been working on The idea is that it takes place in the future, but the future looks a lot like the past. We've got um, we've got sort of a medieval type fantasy going on, but with a lot of advanced technology. So if you want to skirt the line between science and magic, if you're a big fan of Vampire Hunter D or some of the old Studio Ghibli movies, then I think you're going to like this. I'm going to be showing some art later, uh, but I've commissioned one of our... Uh, I've commissioned someone to actually do a character called a Vaquero. They're a combination between a cowboy and a Renaissance-style fencer. They, they utilize a special weapon called a pistol grip, which is a combination of a rapier and a pistol. And, uh, you know, I'll be, showing, uh, I'll be showing the art as that develops, so, you know... Some of you are like, um, might have noticed that I haven't brought up the hashtag Rise Indies in a while. Well, hashtag Rise Indies, and this is why. It's because I really feel like we as independent creators need to take some time to, to sort of work together and to pump ourselves up. So you want to say, hey, I'm not really one of the big publishing houses. I'm not really one of the big um, studios. I'm, I'm an indie, so Rise Indies. And then the final, the final update for the people that are wondering is we're going to be looking into doing a revision of the Drowned War. The Kickstarter did not fund. Kind of sad about that, but I love and I'm so thankful to everybody that did support uh, our attempt. But we have been going back and we've been talking to some people, so we're going to give it a go. So be looking for the revised edition of the Drowned War to be coming to Kickstarter. And it's gonna have some. Uh, it's gonna have some things that we didn't fill in like we should have. It's gonna have an expanded gear list, and it's going to have a plot point campaign. So be on the lookout for that. And hey, you know what? Go ahead, leave some comments, like and share this video. Uh, if you don't like any of my stuff, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. If you do like my stuff, thank you. Thank you for being a part of our community, and uh, thank you for your support. So until next time, folks, I'm Dustin with Star City, and I hope that you have a good day.